So what is it like to go an alms round? So many of you guys have seen beautiful videos. You've seen the pictures of monks with their bowls. Uh, they're walking from house to house. But for me, I wanted to make a different type of video to get you to understand the feeling of what it would be like if you were the one going from house to house and having this experience. But for me is being here in Thailand, going on these alms rounds early in the morning is so sacred and it's hard to put in words but you have to imagine the environment. For us, as a foreigner, is this is new. We don't do this. <laughs> this is not normal. So to come here and go from house to house and then to see the lay people. Uh, we're here at the Pape Meditation Retreat. And in this village in Pape, a lot of the people here, they're not rich. They don't have a lot of resources, but still because of their belief in Buddhism, because of their faith, in the monks, they cook the best that they have in their kitchen. And to see them coming to offer to us early in the morning is the most touching thing because you see just pure uh, genuineness. You can feel uh, their faith, you can feel their sincerity and the fact that they just want to give the best that they have. And again, they don't have much materially, but spiritually they're very fulfilled and they're very happy. And you have to see it in their eyes, see uh, the way they offer it to us. It's just so beautiful. Um, one of the things that people might not know about alms round is it's not easy <laughs> because the weather is always changing. And I know in Thailand, and we're here in the forest, when it gets cold, it's freezing. And we don't have jackets, so we don't have blankets, we don't wear any of that stuff. We just go out there with our bare feet. Uh, it gets extremely cold. Uh, our hands get numb. But again, this is our duty and we just go. Some days it's raining. Uh, some days it's really hot. Some days it's cold and windy. But it doesn't matter. But for us, it's just we go out there because it inspires the faith in the lay people and it gives them an opportunity to give. Um, also, another thing that you might not know um, that might not be so obvious is the ground that we walk on, it's so rough. And again, like I said, as a foreigner monk, we're not used to just walking without our shoes and to walk on gravel. Sometimes there's a broken glass, there's dirt, there's everything that you can think of. And it hurts, but again, we just keep pushing. Um, in the first few minutes, maybe five minutes, maybe 10 minutes, um, you just kind of feel the pain. But after a while, it just becomes sort of like a meditation. And you just let it go. You try to be as mindful as you can. We look down and we just walk. One house to the next. And again, we just keep going. The best part for me doing alms round is probably when you see the children. Uh, in this video, you'll see that there is a little girl who comes out and does the alms offering by herself. She has the food prepared. Uh, she comes out, she offers it to the monk, and then she receives the blessing. For a young girl to come out, a young child to come out, and the first thing she does is to offer to the monk uh, to offer generosity, to me, it's very touching. And can you imagine if kids around the world knew how to do this or made this a practice where before they did anything else, before they went to school, before they played video games, before they ate their breakfast, they do an act of generosity and they give. And I think that is so beautiful and what we're training them at such a young age and how to give to others and how to purify the mind is the most beautiful and the most touching thing ever. So please take a look at it and it's wonderful. Another thing that I would want to say is really thank you for everyone who has ever offered to the monks to continue to support us because with your support is we get to train ourselves. Uh, we don't have to worry about cooking. We don't have to worry about how we're going to make a living. And for us is through your generosity, it gives us an opportunity to have more time 
to train ourselves in our meditation, train ourselves in our precepts, in our morality. And again, we get to cultivate our spiritual life and that's through the support of the lay people. And in exchange, then we want to share our, all of our merits with you all. So thank you so much. And when you watch this video of alms offering, again, keep in mind that we do this every single day. Rain, shine, <laughs> it doesn't matter. But put yourself in our shoes. Um, well, actually, we're not wearing shoes. <laughs> but imagine you're walking alongside of us, going from house to house. What would it feel like? And just really enjoy this beautiful scene. Imagine you're in Thailand with us and allow uh, yourself to feel this good feeling and rejoice in all this merit. So I hope you enjoy. Oh.